Hello friends, welcome to Code Semantic and welcome to the video tutorial of ASP.NET Web API. We are studying how to consume Web API or ASP.NET Web API using HTTP client in .NET application. So in last video, we saw the basics related to it and as well as we covered how to consume GET request. So this video is all about consuming a POST request. So whenever you want to consume a POST request, we have two options available. The first one is POST as JSON async method and another one is POST as XML async method. So whenever you are using POST as JSON async method, whatever data you will send that will be serialized as JSON. And in case of XML, it will be serialized as XML. That is the only difference. So here, I am going to cover post as JSON async and I will suggest you to try post as XML async and let me know the difference. Now let us switch to Visual Studio to study this part practically. So we are going to use the same application that we have created last time which is consume web API console application. Okay, And here our program to consume a get request okay so whenever you are going to consume any web api in dotnet application using http client you have to make sure that you have installed this microsoft.aspnet.webapi.client package i already covered how to install it in the last video so if you are not aware of that please watch that video one more thing is that our web api is expecting the input of type product view model and even it is returning the output of type product view model so that's why we have created a class for the same even in the last video also a get request is returning the collection of product view model that's why we have created this class now in case of post request we have to send the data of type product view model so whenever you are going to consume any web api just make sure all the necessary things are present like in this case the package is installed and second thing what kind of data your web api expects or what kind of data your web api returns okay now the next thing is that we are going to create a class and that class will have a code to consume our post request so just right click over here on your project and then say add class and here and just name that class as test consume post okay say add and since this class will have a main program and we want to execute it so just make sure to add a main method so this is our main method so here what we are going to do we are going to accept the details related to the product and then after we are going to pass it to our web api and eventually web api will store those details in our database so we are going to accept this kind of details from the user like product id product name price stock and category id so these four fields we are going to accept so let us write a code for that so here since we are using console application i'm just going to print a message using console.write line and i'll say enter product id then name then stock then price and last one is category id so since we are using this console application that's why we are giving a message like this if you are consuming it in any other application having ui so this is going to be different right now the next thing we have to accept those details and for that i have to create an object of product view model so product view model let us call it as pobj is equal to new product view model and now I'll store the values in each and every property of our product view model class. So here I'll say pobj.productid 
is equal to product id is of type integer so i have to say convert dot 2 in 32 and then here i have to say console dot read line then in the same way we have to accept the rest of the value so i'll complete that code so the code related to accepting the input is complete as you can see here we majorly use console.readline function and since console.readline function returns the value of type string we have used conversion functions to convert it into the respective type so convert is a class and to in 32 to double these are the static function of this class so definitely if there will be an exception we are not handling it because the main purpose of this code is to understand how to consume the post request rest of the code definitely whatever is needed for handling the error you can add it so now we are done with this the next thing is to create an object of http client class so let us create it http client let me put h as capital say client is equal to new http client so definitely you have to add a namespace for it and i hope you remember the namespace which is system.net.http now the next thing is to specify the base address which is nothing but a uri okay and which is also specified with the help of URI class and to this URI class constructor we have to provide the base address since our web API is running under localhost so I am going to use the same so what will I do I will copy it from here now let us paste it ok so all the things related to this are done now the next thing is to give call to our post add json async method okay so here i'll say client dot post as json async and to that post add json async method you have to specify the controller name which is product itself and then after you have to specify the value means what kind of data you want to pass so we are going to pass the object of product view model which is nothing but pobg right then after if you check it returns the value of type task http response message so we will collect it here so let us use implicitly type variable which is var and let me declare one variable post task this will have the result now this is also an async method so what i am going to do i am just going to give call to wait method okay then after that you have to collect the result of this post task so here i'll say var result is equal to post task dot result now after this we have to check whether our request get executed successfully or not and for that we are going to check one property i hope you remember this is and it is each success status code okay if it executes successfully each success status code property will have a true value so if its value is true we are just going to display a message that product inserted successfully okay and otherwise we are going to say error okay or any user friendly message you want to provide okay so we are done with our code also first of all we accepted the values for product object then we created the http client object we specified the base address using uri class and then we have given call to our post add json async method and while calling that method we mention our controller name and as well as 
we pass the object that we want to post and then after we check a status code if it is true then we are displaying the message that product inserted successfully otherwise we are showing the error message okay now if you want to run this class first of all you have to go to project menu then it's pro properties and then after you have to specify the startup object here which app which is in application tab so just make sure application tab is selected and set the startup object so we want to execute this class test consume post just make sure whatever startup object you are going to set it is having a main method only those classes will be listed there if your class do not contains main method it do not get listed under startup object so let us save this and one more important thing we have to start our vab api application which is running under this ip okay so let me start that also so this is our vab api application so i am executing it okay it is also up now now the next thing is we'll switch to sql server and we will check these values currently we have these many values okay so we have two kind of categories one and two uh, second category belongs to mobile and first category belongs to electronics so just to make sure whenever you make a entry your category id value should be one or two otherwise there will be a foreign key reference error okay now let us switch to our console application which is consuming a post request now let us execute it so here i'll say debug and start without debugging okay first of all i have to mention the product id just now we saw that we have total six products right so new product id is going to be what seven so here i'll say seven then let us specify the name say lg washing machine then say stock is say some 50 price is say 35000 and category id is 2 okay now hit enter key yeah now you can see that we got a message that product inserted successfully that means our post request get executed successfully now you can verify this in database so let me execute this again yes our product get inserted so basically our console application give call to web api and web api inserted the data in our db so i'll suggest you to try the same code with post as xml async and let me know if you have any doubts i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have any questions or concern you can write it to the comment section Thank you for watching.